TIA's 2014 Network of the Future Conference is happy to welcome Joe Maloney, General Manager for Dell Global OEM Telecom Vertical. Joe, what have you learned about the telecom business since starting this role? There's enormous change going on inside of the telecommunications industry. As uh, market factors have influenced the way they bring products to market and develop solutions, uh, it's really forced those organizations to take a look at the way they do business at a very fundamental level. And the conversations that I've had with customers and what I've heard so far at the conference has been around increasing speed, increasing velocity, increasing the rate at which they can bring solutions to market. And it's been a very interesting transformation as we listen to them talk about increasing velocity and providing flexibility of solutions. Things like NFV and SDN are going to give the industry enormous flexibility to be able to meet their evolving customers' needs over, times, over time. And what's really exciting for me in this role inside of Dell's OEM organization is that we really feel that our solution stack that we can bring to the market is uniquely mapped to the requirements that those customers happen to have. What is your vision for Dell in the telecom vertical? So I think that if you look at Dell OEM and how we take our telecommunications solutions, which are embedded inside of our OEM organization, and map those to our customers' requirements, we really have the ability to leverage the existing solution sets we have. And by that I mean listening to what our customers have to say, understanding their requirements, perhaps providing some input to say, that's, a, th that's a, obviously a requirement that's very important to your business. Perhaps you should look at it from this perspective and evolve that solution and evolve that requirement into something that's slightly off where they thought they were going to be and help lead them in a direction that we think might be an appropriate path. So for us, it's really understanding the customer's requirements and where they need to go from a business perspective. Often we get caught up on a piece of technology, on a widget, on something that someone is really, really in love with a particular piece of technology, but often it's not as relevant to the overall business as you really, uh, as it really is if you step back and look at it from a long-term perspective of the business. And that's what I really want my team to do, is to listen to my customers' business requirements and make sure that we put solutions in place that help them achieve those objectives. How do you keep your ear to the ground to ensure that you build solutions for the right problems that your customers are experiencing? Uh, th this is something I'm very passionate about. Uh, I've been with Dell for a long time, and something that Dell does especially well is listening to our customers. Um, I came from another organization that was really fond of developing something really interesting and then telling their customers that this was the way to go. That didn't work out so well. What we like to do at Dell is listen to our customers. So we have lots of conversations. We have lots of road shows where we bring our developers, our CTOs, our engineers on the road, meeting with customers, hundreds of meetings uh, during the course of the year, soliciting input understanding requirements, and then developing a solution. The other key piece is what we're doing today at this event, at TIA's event. By going to industry associations like TIA, it gives us a unique opportunity to map those requirements to what we've learned in those meetings. So by triangulating and putting all of that together, it really gives us a good opportunity to, to, to get a finger on the pulse of what uh, our customers are looking at. What are the primary specifications that your customers ask for that present the biggest challenge for you? There's probably one that jumps out. Um, there, there might be a couple, but the, the one that really jumps out when I look at the challenges uh, around the way we do business and the products we bring to market in our solution set is around life cycles. We're hearing from the telecommunications industry that what they've wanted is something to be deployed over 7, 10, 12, 15 years. They want to develop something, create it, leave it in place, and not change it. And that's a challenge when the market is evolving to take advantage of newer technologies, wanting to be more nimble and fleet of foot, wanting flexibility, increasing velocity, those types of requirements don't map well to a life cycle that's going to be around for 15 years. 
So what we see is th we see those as being a fundamental challenge to try to do both of those concurrently. And what we're working with, as I talked about earlier, about listening to those requirements and perhaps making some suggestions, is that if you have the need, what's if you have a need for long life cycle management, what's really driving that requirement? What's the business requirement? And perhaps there's another way to get there. Uh, for example, inside of the OEM organization where I live, we've developed a solution that extends the life cycle of standard products and gives you just a little bit more time to run the existing products that, you're de that you've developed on that platform, giving you some more flexibility than if you were just using standard products. But certainly not that 15 year life cycle that they were accustomed to. One of the topics at TIA 2014 is focused on big data and privacy. The video surveillance space provides an endless amount of unstructured data and your equipment must protect that data. Why is the encryption space to protect unstructured data an important sector right now? I think if you look at security and privacy and data breaches and access to data, a, a day doesn't go by when you either hear in the radio or see on the TV or, or, or catch an article coming across on a news alert on your phone about some breach somewhere or about something that was exposed or somebody's social security numbers being stolen and credit card data and all that stuff. So Dell has actually looked at that and said this is a fundamental issue inside of the industry, inside of any industry. And we've invested heavily in building an end-to-end -end secure solution set for our customers. And what gives us, what's very interesting about that solution set is we can do something as simple as helping you with a very advanced firewall, like a, you know, a, a, a very secure and very sophisticated firewall to prevent access to your platform, or helping you encrypt or helping you manage the overall aspect of it, we've got enough flexibility that we can build that solution set, solution set with these different building blocks that we've developed and acquired over the years. We've spent a tremendous amount of money on buying IP and integrating it into our existing IP to create this, this very, very sophisticated solution set around security. And we think that by applying that in this space and helping customers protect their big data uh, 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 requirements, uh, we'll be in a position to really be able to help, hopefully, fend off some of those, uh, some of those attacks. Thank you for being with us today.